This is Mario Central here with you today at Area Battle 5. Hey, wait, what's your name? I'm actually very curious. What is your name? Oh, it's Callus. <laughs> what are you, the, the callus on my fingertips? <laughs> you know what I was expecting her to be? I actually thought that they were going to do the reverse. You know how Area Leader 4 was a boy out of all the girls, and now she's the girl out of all the boys, and they're going to call her Girlden? That's what I was expecting. I was expecting Girlden, but it didn't happen. Instead, I got the callus of my finger. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> Not, but, I mean, she wasn't the only female in this area, so they couldn't do that. But I, I, was, I was thinking they were going to do that, just to have sort of the same areas. But I guess they decided to go the more creative route and be like, Hey, you know what? She's a callus on your finger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Coming up with some creative names. I already told you, this game has some creative names. Just look at the entirety of Team Snagum. <laughs> they all have clown names. The thing what I realized about this area though, is I probably shouldn't have come to it now. What I should have done was, when I was doing areas 1 through 3 the first time, I should have just done area 4 because, believe it or not, it was actually easier than area 3. That actually lies, but believe it or not, I'm walking on air. <laughs> I don't know why that popped into my head all of a sudden. but. Uh, I should have done that area 4 at areas 1 to 3 when I was doing them, and I should have saved 5 and 6 till much later. Like, not even now, because my Pokemon, well, James is 34, he's there 43, I mean, it's, it's pretty ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I probably should have saved them to much, much more later, but you know what? I guess I, I'm glad I'm getting it done now. What I'll do instead is I'll finish off this area, because, I mean, I'm already into it, I might as well finish it. I'll do this area, and then I'm going to cut to Railgum Tower, and I'm just going to finish off the rest of Railgum Tower. And then, from there, I will uh, do Area 6, because right now I am nowhere near prepared. I, I could take them on, but I I'd rather them get more experience before they take on Area 6, because I'll tell you right now, I didn't look into too much through 1 through 6, because in Pokemon XD, um... Those areas aren't that difficult. From Area 7 onwards, it starts to get ridiculously difficult. And you want to know why? From Area 7, the Pokemon are level 57. 57! Do you know how ridiculous that is? I made a bad switch in there. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, Ms. Fox. I switched you in at the wrongest. Why did I switch in Ms. Fox? Oh, that was that was dumb of me. I shouldn't have done that. At least I'll get rid of Marsh Tom, but no, Ms. Fox. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> but, as I was saying, like, it, they're 57 at Area 7, that's, <laughs> that right, they're 57 at Area 7, oh boy, but, uh, that's why I'm not gonna continue on, because you don't even get to that level unless you do some massive training, right? You don't get to that level till after you're done the game. So I can't even revisit Mount Battle till after I'm done. So once I knock out Area 6, I won't be coming back. So this can make things go along more smoothly now. Now I'll be able to just complete the game and finish it off for, instead of getting on sidetracks like this. Because thank goodness with this game, there isn't too many Colosseums. Like in, Colos in Pokemon Colosseum, there were a lot of Colosseums. How many times am I going to say Colosseum? Well, I'll say it a couple more times. There were a couple of Colosseums in Colosseum that had the Colosseums in all of the regions that had Colosseums. <laughs> Sorry, that's, that's, that was a terrible joke. But, seriously, in Pokemon Colosseum, there was about four of them. I mean, you had Fennac, you had uh, the Under Coliseum, there was a ton. And those, uh, th those were really irritating to do because they all had TMs, so you really had to go out of your way to do these things. And in this game, there's only two. There's only Pyrite and there's Real Gum. There's one at level 20 and one at level 40. That's great. I agree that the Coliseums and Pokemon Coliseum were great for training because majority of them were past 50, but that's because you started off the game at 30, so it made no sense. But, uh, I, you know, that's what I like about this game is that there's not too much sidetracking I have to do. And the fact is, is this makes it so much more easier for me to do Mount Battle, which is the reason I still haven't done Mount Battle of Pokemon Coliseum to this day, is it makes it so much more easier for me to do it because, well, my Pokemon are pretty much going to be on par with his Pokemon, right? From the start, I faced him when, 
from area one, I faced him when he was level, when I was level 20, which is not bad. Level 15, level 16 or something around there, and that's pretty good, and their Pokemon were only level 14, so, I mean, it, it works, and unlike the last game, where it's the first, like, six or seven, or not even, the first eight areas are so tedious that you're just like, okay, can I please get this over with, please? But what can you do, right? That's how they designed the first game, and then they, they, then they realized in this one that they're like, you know what? We can't do that anymore. We have to do the, make this better. And in better, they did. I honestly do like this game uh, and the way they did the Coliseums at Mount Battle a lot more better than they did in Coliseum, and I'll talk more about that. Don't let up in Area 6, and now we get, from here on out, we're going to get a thousand Poke Coupons each, so save up for whatever you want. As I said, uh, you can get anything pretty much with these coupons you can get the tms fire flamethrower ice beam um what are the other ones i believe flamethrower ice beam thunderbolt psychic shadow ball some useful tms and you also get some useful hold items such as um <clears throat> i think like king's rock and things or stuff like that are there so i mean it's pretty useful to keep building up these poke coupons by the end i think we'll have over ten thousand so we'll actually have over nine thousand <laughs> believe it or not but uh, i will hold off on using rock tomb for now the only candidates i would consider teaching it to would be to shift tree and would be to flygon um and i think it would be better for shift tree because rock tomb hurts fire it hurts rock it hurts flying and it hurts uh bug as well right Fire, flying bug, and there's one more I'm not thinking of. <laughs> Nothing is coming. To, I'm telling you, when I record, just my mind empties. And my brain is completely shut off, and I have no access to it whatsoever. <laughs> it's like I just turned stupid for an entire 20 minutes. <laughs> it's an odd feeling, I'll tell you what, man. Oh, man. But it covers more weaknesses that shift tree. Oh, yes, and it hurts ice. There you go. And... That basically covers all of Shift Tree's weaknesses, so I think I will teach it to him, but I just won't do it now because I really don't need it as now, and uh, <clears throat> I'll hang on to Secret Power just for for now, as well as Thunder. I think I'll teach Thunder to Jolteon just a bit, probably after this tournament. Uh, now, From now on, we're going to see a lot more unique strategies in these real gum coliseums. You'll, you'll get to see it, trust me. <clears throat> Here we go! Look at this! Sprucey elevator. It just <laughs> it's so high tech and everything. Look at we go and now look at that view. Oh yeah, baby, that is always nice. Here we are in the Coliseum Finals. Okay then. I actually just felt like playing that out because I've never seen it before. I am always skipping to just do it. That's kind of cool that you go from all crazy camera angles as if, as if this is a sports <laughs> network. Going in from all crazy angles, watching the picture here, watching the picture there. <laughs> I just, I like it. <laughs> it gives that whole sports arena feel. Like you got all the fans in the background, although they're 2D, they're like, yeah, let's get it on, let's go. And they actually look kind of weird. <laughs> what I like is though, is that they, you can kind of see them. They kind of look like the, the cool trainers of this game. They also kind of look like the super trainers and all the different classes of trainers that there are in this game, but just done in 2D. So it's kind of funny. It just, it looks very strange to me. <laughs> it just looks so off. But what are you gonna do? A 3D arena filled with 2D people. <laughs> that sounds like something. <laughs> That's so weird. The 2D people must be like, I can't sit on these 3D because I am not in this ty type of space. <laughs> Sucks for them. James is doing surprisingly well, though. Like, honestly, he was holding his own in that area, area 5. Like, he was doing quite well. Even though he was, like, completely outmatched because he was 10 levels below. He's holding his own, and I'm telling you, Arcanine always comes through for me. It's just, I know it doesn't for all people. I don't... A lot of people don't really consider Arcanine to be that great, and I can understand that, but for some reason, when I use him, he always works out for me. Every single time. And he's proving to be the case again, because he, he's, he's been killing Pokemon that are far beyond his level, and he's been doing it well, so I'm very impressed, <coughs> to say the least. Hiya! So right now, I think this tournament, they kind of did a weather type of strategy. Like, the first couple of battles used Sandstorm and and such. The last battle actually used Rain Dance, and this one's trying to focus more on Sunny Day, 
The problem is, oh, now he brings it up, or she, sorry. <laughs> Took you long enough. <laughs> I shouldn't have kept Torkoal alive for so long. But I, I wanted to do Calm Mind because I want to finish off Torkoal rather quickly. Since it doesn't have much, very good special defense, but it is pretty bulky. The, the thing is, Sunny Day is going to help me because now Tropius will go down in like one hit from a flamethrower easily. Hopefully. But I am four levels down, so maybe he'll survive by just a tad bit because Tropius has good HP. And Torkoal's done! Excellent! <laughs> he didn't even get to use uh, like a... Did, did he even attack me once? Oh yeah, he used Fire Spin, of all things. He could have used Heat Wave or something. No, he decided to use the Fire Spin. Unfortunately, it's just not as effective as it was back then. He's thinking in the old mindset. Pokemon Generation 1. Even though he didn't exist back then, <laughs> he's still thinking he has that mindset. He's like, okay, you know what? If I do this, I'm going to be able to stun them and they won't be able to attack for a long time. Well, you know what? Welcome to the third generation, buddy. It no longer works like that. And I am glad for that change, by the way. Oh, man. <clears throat> I am so glad they changed that because that was one of the more irritating things to deal with <laughs> in the first generation games. Like, if an Onyx randomly uses used bind or you know like i think bruno's onyx had that oh man that was frustrating especially if your pokemon were completely under leveled like normally my pokemon are <laughs> then it created for some long battles i was just sitting there being like all right all right come on no <laughs> it was frustrating good thing they changed that that would have continued to be frustrating to this day Oh, my emotions are cloudy, followed by rain! Oh, well, I think you should make a chance for the weathercast person on, um, on Pyrite TV. <laughs> I think they need a weather person. You very much look like Anka. You can very much fit in as well. And as you can see with these Railgun Tower battles, man, they give you a lot of money. 8,000? Gee, and I didn't even, I didn't even do too well. Like, I could have done better. That's okay. What is the TM we got here? Oh, Giga Drain. All right. So if you don't already have that on your C dot, which I don't know how you wouldn't, uh, you can teach it to him there, or just any other grass Pokemon that can use a healing move without having to use Synthesis. So not bad. Rock Tomb. I will teach to leave now because I need a move. <laughs> I need a move other than Secret Power. It isn't doing the job anymore, and I need something to change. I'll also, did I? I already taught. Uh, Jolteon on Thunder, didn't I? <laughs> How did I forget that already? <laughs> I'm telling you, man. These recordings, they just affect my brain. Alright, there it goes. And now we head on to the next one. Yes, I will. I want to go into your very nice looking elevator. Look at that thing. Honestly. <laughs> I wish there was an elevator like that over here. <laughs> but of course, we don't get the fancy stuff. No, of course not. I lost with my HM move! <laughs> well, that's kind of cool. They, they kind of acknowledge that they're like, oh, well, we don't have HM moves in this game, so if you have them, consider yourself lucky. <laughs> he was no match for me. I think all he had really was, he didn't even have much. He just had, like, fly and surf it, but it, it's not very good. <laughs> Unfortunately, surf gets completely... Its power gets completely dwindled in this game. Jolteon has not been doing too well. Oh man, Ms. Fox. It, it, I've been putting her in bad matchups, but the past two rounds have gone by so quickly that it's been okay. The first round, however, she was up against all Earth Pokemon. Ground Pokemon. That was terrible. I've been feeling bad for Ms. Fox. I keep putting her in bad situations. <laughs> and she's my starter, for goodness sakes. I gotta stop doing that. <laughs> There's a show. Oh, well, this is looking like a great matchup. Nice. This will probably, uh, hopefully it'll take it out. And it did not. That's fine. Curlia, you will go down in the next turn, so it is all good. And now, let's just take you down and then take down Sharpedo. You know, one reason I like uh, double battles so much, there's something about it that I like so much. I like the fact that you don't actually see what's coming next. And I know, I think you have the option to actually turn that off in the Pokemon games that you don't have to see what Pokemon comes next. But I, I always like that in double battles that you just, it's a, you're always surprised to see what comes next. Like, they don't announce it like, okay, I have a Miltank. Will you, do you want to switch out? 
they don't do that. They, they just send out the Pokemon. You're like, okay, well, let's see how I can put up with this today. And I just like double battles so much because you really have to mix and match your team. You have to figure, well, if this guy's weak against this, my guy will be able to cover that weakness. And then you have to find the right pairings. It just it makes Pokemon like an entirely new game, which is why I like the series so much. It just feels like a complete departure from the original series because of how much strategy and how much difference there is. Hiya, take my thunder. You know what I've decided to call the thunder? I've decided to call the thunder. <laughs> It's fun. Jolteon clearly has fun producing thunder from the skies. <laughs> and it looks fun because I am just destroying everybody. Because <laughs> Ms. Fox's power is amazing. So I am now going to call it the thunder. <laughs> Boom. There goes Crawd. Oh, almost. As long as Arcanine hits with his takedown, which I doubt he will not do, as I guessed correctly. <laughs> Thank you, James. Just as you failed in the anime, you failed me now. <laughs> that's all right, James. You just have to get him here. Ah, uh, that's okay. Miss Fox can take care of it. <laughs> She's got to move that won't miss in your face, James. I just... I'm waiting... I'm keeping takedown for now until... I learn Iron Tail or until I like actually get extreme speed because with James I don't think he learns extreme speed till about level 57 so it's gonna be a while all right now on to our next one this I know the last portion is gonna be a bit more tougher because as you've noticed it the battles have steadily gotten harder except that one I feel was a little bit easier than the third one because he had, he had, all he had was a Curlia and just some unevolved Pokemon and they all went down to my Jolteon. I guess it's just because I had a type advantage, but the same was the case as the previous battle, so whatever. Oh, here's, I, okay, perfect. So I guess I'll get rid of Takedown now. I don't want to have something that's inflicting damage on my own Pokemon unless he can take it. Like, I'm considering, I think I'm going to teach Double Edge to Bluebee. I'm not too sure, though, but I'll, I'll, I'll think about it. I guess... Should I keep two fire moves or should I actually take down take down? <laughs> Literally, let's take down the take down move. <laughs> All right, because this will help him a lot against those rock Pokemon and ice. Well, he doesn't really need help with ice, but <laughs> he's already a fire type. But this will help against the rock type Pokemon. He needs something that will help him because I'm keeping, obviously, Solar Beam for leave. I'm going to need that for him because... It's important. <laughs> he needs a strong grass move, and I can't unfortunately teach that to Arcanine. Unfortunately, this is not Generation 5, so I just can't keep reusing the same TM. That's something I will admit, is that I kind of wish they had kept it less way, because it, it really makes you make hard choices. That you really have to be like, well, I gotta save this one for this Pokemon. It just, I don't know, I think it's better. Here comes the finales of finals of finales. All right, I'm looking forward to a tasty victory. What is so tasty about this victory, huh, Carbon? <laughs> it's because your name is based off of, uh, off of, um, oh my god, I'm forgetting my periodic table. <laughs> this is not a good day. Oh, man. <laughs> a tasty victory. Jesus. This guy's clearly into his food, and I do not have the appropriate Pokemon to deal with this right now. <laughs> I wanted Bluebee to get in there to get some experience, because guess what? She's only three levels away from the evolution, so it's getting there. Take this. This is going to be a long battle, I can tell you right now, because this entire... The entirety of this tournament has actually taken a little bit of time because of one man and one man only. That was the old man in one of the previous fights. He destroyed me. I almost lost. I lost about four of my Pokemon. He had a very good strategy. In fact, I'll probably just put clips of that fight. <laughs> Paris song. <laughs> That's such a terrible strategy. I'm going to finish all y'all before you even get the chance. <laughs> James and Bluebee are a wonder team, people. They're the wonder team. You can't take them down. Now, that's just foolish. They're going to... Oh, wait a second. Oh, no. I was just going to finish you off. Oh, shoot. Oh, man. You got lucky this time, old man. But trust me on this one. Uh-oh. I'm down to one. Okay, okay. So, just as usual, usually with Parish Song things, you just want to switch out your Pokemon just before this happens. Kind of like what he did with his Mischievous! Oh no! All the fits! Damn your Shadow Tag! 
Again? Oh, wow. Okay, you know what? I really have to get rid of that Wobbuffet this time. Jesus. Mischievous. Gosh darn. If I can just get rid of him, then I can switch them out. So that's going to be my strategy now. All right? I really don't want them to die now. Please now, please. Umbreon, no! I was just going to finish him off! No, man! You smart devil, you... Uh, old man! You know what? I gotta hand it to this old man. He's not gonna win the match, I get that. But you know what? He took out four of my Pokemon. How many people in this game can actually say they took out four of my Pokemon? Neither of the bosses did, this one did. And kudos to you, old man. Kudos to you. That is phys fantastic, spectacular. He did it with a unique strategy, too. I gotta, honestly, round of applause, round of applause. You can see it was really drawn out, and I have a feeling this one's gonna be the same uh, because this entire section has has been a, a tad bit difficult. So hopefully it doesn't take too long. If oh, that's not good, Ooh, buddy. Okay, well he attacked Blueby. That's that I am fine with. Whew. Okay, nice job. Ha ha, Grumpig. That is I'm getting really lucky with Grumpig. Hi. Okay, one more bite should do it. Now I can focus my attention on Quillfish. While these battles are going on, I'm going to talk about the newest Pokemon. And everyone thought he was Mew 3. I did too. I thought it was a new form of Mew. Maybe a third form that they created or something like that. But no, it is actually just a form of Mewtwo. A different form of him. Kind of like how the bird... Well, not the bird Pokemon, but Landorus and all those guys have different forms of themselves. The air forms, right? Kind of like how Meloetta has her form as well, the pirouette form. She, uh, Mewtwo apparently has a new form, I don't know what the name is. Uh, it would actually be interesting to know what it's named, because even I don't really know. Like, it's... Uh, it's... It's definitely not gonna be Mew 3, because that would be like a new incarnation of Mew. So I just, I'm curious as to what the... Maybe they're just gonna name it Mewtwo, and it's just gonna still be Mewtwo, but maybe a different type of form, because I think like the uh, Landorus and guys like that, that, those are their Thespian forms or something like that. So it's, I guess they're just going to give it a different name. I, I, I thought at first it was an entirely new Pokemon. I'm like, oh, it's a new form of Mew, oh my goodness. And then they just dropped the bomb that Mewtwo just suddenly, he's like, okay, I'm going into Super Saiyan mode now and let's transform into this guy. <laughs> it seriously did look like that. Like he's like, oh, time to power up. And then he just went into that weird form that we've seen today. So, I, I, I'm curious, the, Pokemon X and Y is, is getting more and more mysterious as it goes along. I, I'm very anxiously waiting for some more news on that game. It's, it's getting exciting and I do not like this. We are facing Miltank. You know what? I'll tell you one, one thing. Miltank has always been a very annoying enemy to me. Ever since Golden Silver, since she was used in uh, that fight with, uh, I, I don't even know her name. Ever since that fight, I've always had a problem with mill tanks. They're just so irritating. Like, honestly, oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to switch them out soon. I just wanted to get rid of the balloon and that was it. Oh, thank goodness, at least James got that in. Now I can switch him out and get him the experience he needs. Because that, honestly, that mill tank is gonna do a lot of damage. I just need someone that can resist a rock type right now, and the only one that's good enough for now is Vibrafa. I'll just have him be my guinea pig and just <laughs> waste away. <laughs> Sorry about that, but I really have nothing else right now. I don't have any fighting moves on me, which I should probably equip Shift Tree with one, but I'll think about it. Oh, man. Darn mill tank. I always have a problem with this, because then when you when you whittle it down because it takes so long to take off health from mill tank obviously in the later generations it's not as effective but in these earlier generations man oh god this thing was a nightmare to take out especially when it kept doing this because it's very hard to take down unless you have a fighting move oh jeez this thing was irritating <laughs> my goodness was this thing bad like every time i'd just be like oh no is it coming? It's here. Darn it! I need Bluey to wake up right now! Jesus, man. Come on, I, I don't want the rollout to suddenly ship focus to Blue because he's gonna go down in one hit. Crow's effect is done in the next couple of turns. I'm just hoping to get a paralysis on Miltank right now, because that's all I can do, because right now it's faster than all of my Pokemon! 
Oh, Crow's effect with the win. Nice job. I just hope this will paralyze it, because that is the only strategy I have for this mill tank right now. Yeah. Oh, critical. Nice. I believe its special defense is higher. I can't remember. Oh, baby, yes. Ha ha. But uh, Crow's effect's dead. <laughs> Unfortunately. I was hoping Kudbuskin would attack Bluebee and let Crow's effect live for one more turn. But I guess the next Pokemon that's going to switch in here is going to be dead, pretty much. I guess what I'll do is have Ms. Fox use Thunder uh, on Miltank just to do some quick and explosive damage. And that way it won't kill her because I know Miltank's stronger than that. It won't kill her, but uh, I, I I need something right now. Just something that'll hit her. <laughs> not not thunder, because I don't want to take the chance anymore. This will do enough to combust in. At least she's gone. He's gone out of the way. Now, Miltang is going to kill Miss Fox, and now I can proceed to just focusing on solely on Miltank. I just changed my strategies at the last second. <laughs> I always tend to do that. When it comes to Let's Plays or in general just in things, I always change my mind at the last second. Like, it's like, let's do this. Oh, no, no, you know what? This is a better idea. <laughs> All right, so it's paralyzed. Probably you won't attack. Of course not. You are going to attack. And Ms. Fox is done. But at least you got the level up. I am proud of that. Very good, Ms. Fox. A job well done indeed. You took out Combuskin, and that is all I required of you. Now I'm just gonna hope that Athena can take it out with a Psychic. What I'm hoping is I'm gonna do a Calm Mind, or should I? Yeah, I'm just gonna do Psychic. <laughs> Waste my turn with a Calm Mind. That would have been stupid. And this should do it. Oh wow! Nice job, Athena. Showing off that power, baby. Very good. All right then. We're making some headway here, folks. <laughs> the first time in a long time. Take that, Carmen. Losing doesn't taste very good at all. I know, it's just not part of your appetite, is it? <laughs> I don't think you would want to make that part of your appetite. I always like the structure of the way they made this, because it's like you're entering like a like a giant sphere, like a kind of like a giant globe. <laughs> it's like you're entering the Earth. It's, it's pretty cool. I always like the design of this area. And we got, I think we just got $9,000, didn't we? And that is TM22 Solar Beam. This is going to be used on Shift Tree. However, I do not have Sunny Day quite as yet, and I'm waiting for Crow's Effect to turn into Flygon for that to happen. So, until next time, we are going to be taking on Area 6. This is Mario Central, signing off.